afternoon and good morning. Welcome to Wake Up Call. Welcome to the midweek edition of Wake Up Call. Now, we are going to dive straight in. We're going to go right in there because we've got a launch. We may have given you a little bit of a sneak peek last night on launch party. However, today is the day where it's launching and this is going to be on launch day. So launch day is going to be 3 o'clock here in the UK, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 7 a.m. Pacific Time. You want to know what they are? going to tell you just in a minute but then what we're going to do is we're going to come back and uh, we're going to tune in and join in with uh, Jan and Joe who are in the remaining shows of today for Creative Cravings that being 7 o'clock here in the UK 2 p.m eastern time or 11 a.m pacific time so when it comes to Creative Cravings many of you will already know and love the concept of that that will go throughout our wake up call but what we're going to be doing is we are going to be having a look at this launch day and this is a phenomenal one as always it's all about creative cars it's all about scenes and it's all about edibles. And do you know what? It's all about Christmas. Win-win all around. But what we are going to be doing is I'm going to be doing the demoing, but I'll also be having a look at your comments. But of course, we need someone there just to be at the helm of the comments, reading them, answering them and giving me a helping hand as well. So he's had a lovely couple of days rest. Ben's had his like two days. You know what? What is he like? Just two days and then goes off for like ages and then comes back for another two. At least we've got someone that's hard working, <laughs> dedicated, and he's come back and that's Joe. <laughs> I'm gonna send him the clip of this show later. Uh, how are you Craig? Uh, have you had a good week so far? Yes, uh, yeah, it's been fine. Yeah, it started off iffy, you know, on Mondays we were just talking about yes. it earlier on, but you know what, fighting fit, ready to go. And uh, do you know, I am looking forward to it because I've got a wake up call, but then I have no shows after this, I'm going to go home to prep and I get to watch you and John. Ah, oh, what a treat for you. Yes, we're working, uh, looking forward to working. <laughs> I'm there. We're looking forward to working with Jan uh, for the rest of the day. I'm feeling refreshed, revitalised. I am like a jack-in-a-box. I'm like a coiled spring, ready to go for the next five days, Craig. Uh, and today is going to be an awesome day. If you want to get in touch with me, have a bit of a gossip, have a natter, uh, then you can do it in all the usual ways. Crafters TV over on Facebook, Crafters Companion across on YouTube as well loads coming up throughout the entirety of today and also happy hump day Craig. I know it is you say that and I always just think of uh, is it Black Eyed Peas? Yes. Yeah, I'm not going to sing that song, but you know that song you'll probably get what, what I mean. Georgina doesn't understand the concept of hump day it's because if we look at the week as a, a hill yeah. Wednesday's the, the top, it's the peak, it's the summit, it's the hump. Yeah. So we're, 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 we're not quite far into the week, but then we're not that quite far into the weekend either. We're just in that yeah. very hump mood. It's kind of like, oh, still in midweek, still a while to the weekend ago. But you know what? It's never hump day here on Crafters TV. Certainly not when we've got a launch and a Christmas launch. That's exactly what we're going to be having a look at. First of all, this is what's coming up in launch day. And you can see it coming up on your screen right now. Here we go. This is our Christmas Creator Card Scene Edible Die Collection. Now, within this one, you've got eight elements. And I'm going to explain those eight elements just in a moment. So these are huge, sizable dies that you can see on your screen. But what you can also see as well... We're even giving you a die tool with the foam as well. So this is our Christmas Create a Card Scene Edible Die Collection with eight elements in total. That's where you've got the dies and the die tool. $67.99 here in the UK, $79.95 for you guys stateside. Now with today's price, it works out that you're saving over 15%. But if you are platinum, that comes down to £54.39 or $63.96. These are huge. These are huge, big, create a scene, edible cards. Also, when it comes to these ones, maybe you don't want to go for that full collection. Maybe you want to cherry pick a little bit. Then what you can then do is you can go for two for £23, $27 or €27 Euros if you only want to go for two of them. Best value is always going to be within the big bundle. However, what we like to do is we like to give you an option as well. So they are there for a multi-buy of two of them. Already been super busy to start with. We have got a theme going, certainly here this week on Crafters TV, where many of you are jumping in beforehand and getting them checked out in your basket. So well done. If you're still unsure, we're away to have a look at them just next. But then Jan and Joe here are going to be here for launch party. Uh, in actual fact, they're going to be here for launch day. 3 o'clock here in the UK, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 7 a.m. Pacific Time. So that's launch day. Then what we're going to do is we're going to be having a look at what's coming up within Creative Cravings, with it being a Wednesday. And this one here is our Gemini Reveal window stamp and die selection 75 elements in total 
Now for this one, what I would say is think of a waterfall themed card, but what this is then, slight different change on it, and this is actually a window reveal. Really, really uniquely done, really super cool. But within this one, you've got 75 elements in total. Now today's price being $47.95, or $63.76 for you guys stateside. When it comes to these ones here, it works out that you're saving 20%. But, always have a but, and it's always a good but. £38.36 here in the UK Platinum, or $51 and a cent for you guys stateside. So that's what's going to be coming up with in Creative Cravings with Jan and Joe as well. So we're going from the window reveal card. Then what we're going to do is something I love you guys love these create big focal point sentiment cards these are the design and the sentiment all in one not only are you going to be getting the dies and that's exactly what they are shaped word dies this is the collection of 35 elements in total with this one now it also works out that you're saving 30 percent on that today's price which is 80 pound 95 or 90 dollars 75 Platinum price comes down to $64.76 or $72.60. And how it works out that you buy all these. So I'm going to come around to I'm going to do the side here. You buy the dies, then you get that stencil for free. You get that one 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 for free. And guess what, Joe? You get, you that get those for free as well? You get that one free oh as well. Oh my goodness, Isn't it? Aunt. So all of that is within that collection, but it does work out. You buy the dies and you get all the stencils and the stamps for free. So platinum price, once again, being $64.76 or $72.60. Of course, whether you're going to be going for launch party, whether you're going to be launch day, launch day. Craig, you were on launch party last night. It's launch day today. Launch day, that's going to be 3 o'clock here in the UK, uh, 10 a.m. Eastern time, 7 a.m. Pacific time. Or you're going to come back and also join Jan and Joe for Creative Cravens, that being 7 o'clock here in the UK, 2 p.m. Eastern time or 11 a.m. Pacific time. It's going to be jam-packed full. Lots of different things that you're going to know and love. Lots of different things style-wise, technique-wise. It's going to be such a fun day. I, for one, cannot wait to get started. It's going to be a rather fabulous day. I can feel it, Craig. I can just sense these things. Now, something else talking of rather fabulous. Of course, we have one every single week, and it's this week's. Get it? Got it? Good. And this week's Get It? Got It? Good is, of course, the iconic Gemini Mini. It's an amazing piece of kit. And the great thing about this is what you actually get is that storage bag included, totally free of charge as well. Worth $12.99 or $16.95. Uh, you'll get that for free, so really fabulous deal. Uh, such a really brilliant, portable, fast little machine. Lots of you are owning, using, and loving your Gemini Mini. Uh, loads of you tuning in and saying hi as well, all over today. Gemma's in Chesterfield. Judith is on the Isle of Wight. Renee's in Ca North Carolina. Who else we've got here? Sarah from Bath, Helen the Wirral, and Betty in Oklahoma as well. As again, uh, as always, any questions you've got, get them into me, Crafters TV over on Facebook, Craft Companion on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well so you get notified every single time we go live. I know we've got loads to cram into the show today, Craig, so where would you like to kick off? Right, let's kick off for launch date as well. Just to say as well, uh, Pamela on YouTube, Craig, where's your pink? I know, where does he usually wear pink? However... I wore pink today specifically. Oh, I'm sorry. I have a reason that I'm not, though, and that's because I was in early, because uh, for you guys that are in the subscription uh, collection for our craft box, I was actually filming the brand new one this morning. So for you guys in the scripts, subscription, that's going to be the next one that comes out, and then it'll be here on Crafters TV straight after. So that's why I'm in my purple, because uh, too much. It was rather hectic this morning to try and get changed, so we're staying in the purple. So that's why. Next Wednesday, we'll be back. Let's do this then. Let's have a look at launch day that's coming up with Jan and Joe. So that's going to be 3 o'clock here in the UK, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 7 a.m. Pacific Time. This is the Christmas Creator Card Scene Edgeable Die Collection with eight elements, 
eight elements because you've got your six dies, you've got your die release tool and also the foam mat as well. So today's price being $67.99 or $79.95 works out that you're saving 15% but Platinum comes down even more to £54.39, $63.96. So that is the deal when it comes to the fill bundle. If you only want to cherry pick a couple of the dies, so if you only want two of them, you can get two of them for £23 or two of them for $27 or €27. Euros. So there's a couple of options here for you if you so wish. So let's go straight in. Let's have a look. This is what you're going to get. Now they are create a scene edgeable, Joe, but they are very much edgeable slash create a cards as well you can create a full, dimensional, impactful card by die cutting once. So we've got the Christmas tree, so, so delicate, so detailed that you can see within that Christmas tree. Then we've got, look at that one there, with the stag or the deer, could be a number of different wildlife animals along that line. So that one is your next one. Then what we've also got is that nativity scene there, Mary, Joseph, and little baby Jesus there, you've got the donkey at the side there, so you've got that one. Then we've got the fairy, not necessarily would be saying Christmas, I know there's a couple of snowflakes, but you could trim out and do a few different uh, elements if you wanted to, it's entirely up to yourself. Then we've got Bethlehem. One of these jo days, Joe, I'm going to turn it the right way round. <laughs> here we go. After two, well, two and a half years of working here in, uh, on Crafters TV, you think I would get it the right way 11 round. years in TV, I still can't do it, Craig. No, there's a knack. That and flicking the paper pad. Oh, I'm, a, I'm a good flicker. I'm not such a good spinner. Yeah, you need to teach me how to flick. Yeah. I, I, if you can teach me how to flick, I'll get the knack of turning. Yeah. And then I'll teach you how to... I mean, Turner. together we could be one pretty good shopping TV we could, presenter, couldn't we? We could be, yeah, we could be a flicker and a turner. Flick and turner could be our nickname. Yeah, tag team champions. Flick and turner. <laughs> Doesn't have the same ring, does it? So there we go. So that's our nativity scene. Then what we have got is our snowman, snow woman, snow family, snow person, snow everything that you've got here. Now, what I'm going to do is using this one, and it's going to be with the first demo, and we're actually going to do a little bit of intricate paper piecing. But what I am going to do is let's show you some of these gorgeous samples. Now, you don't have to use them as the edge of the card to be the theme of the card. What you can then do is use them in the back and then maybe you've got your Christmas sentiments that you can see here. Use them in conjunction that way. But then this was actually the one Joe, we actually sneaked I love a this demo one. in last night. Sorry? We actually sneaked a demo in last night. On Cheeky. Party. I, I hope know. Jan doesn't know. Yes, yes, we did. I know Georgina. No, eh. Georgina's back in the building. George is back in the building. But the both said hello to you. So, yeah, we've got that one there. Then we can then go into are Mary and Joseph. So you see how it is an edgeable, but you do have that create a card aspect to it. Then we're going to go in with one with the fairy. Popping some of your vellum behind works an absolute treat. Then we have got the snowman. But what you can then start to do with them as well, you can start to build them up, decoupage them if you want. Lots of different crafty techniques that you can do. Then on this one here, going back to the stag or the deer, some of them you could keep very simplistic if you want, but bring in your watercolour in. Another one with a tree here, showing you how it can be made in the simplest form. But what about popping it into the middle? So you can pop it into the middle of your box. Why oh, I love a shaker, Craig. A shaker. You do like your shakers, don't you? So there really is lots of different things that you can do. So I think if we can have a minute, Joe, if we can have a look at the comments of that, I can get myself sorted. Absolutely. And then we'll be ready to go where we can demo you with the get, snowman. You get yourself sorted indeed. Loads of people are chatting away with us. We've got a massive audience uh, on this uh, Wednesday afternoon or morning, depending on where you are. Uh, Jane says, good morning, Craig. Have a half hour before I have to go to work. And what a good way to start my day. Uh, Gemma is saying hi as well. Uh, Pamela was asking, where is your pink crepe? Where is it? On Wednesdays. I finally remembered, the one week I finally remember is the week that Craig's not wearing pink. I'm out here riding solo. Uh, Winnebeth says, uh, Craig, I enjoyed the ride in your new car yesterday. How are you getting on with the new car, Craig? Hey, 
you're getting on very good, uh, obviously because I was on launch party last night, I've still not had a proper chance to look through it. Let me tell you, that manual is going to take absolutely forever. There's a manual? Y yeah, aha. Uh -huh. Usually it's all online nowadays, but no, it's yeah. like a great big thick Bible, so trust me, it's going to take a while. But uh, I'm loving it. I just need to go on an extra long drive just to uh, see how it all works. Oh, has it got that gorgeous new car smell? <gasps> oh, yeah. There's nothing better, is there? Oh, that smell, that new car smell, when you just jump into the car and it just hits you. You know, it's trying to, you, you want to retain that smell, don't you? You, you don't want it to disappear. So I Maybe they should have sell it in like a fragrance, that new car smell fragrance. Yeah, Yankee Candle did once, when it came to their car fragrances, they did try uh, leather scent and also new car scent. Much as I love Yankee Candle, didn't quite pull it off when it came to the new car mm. scent for me. Well, I hope for a ride in your new car to sample that smell soon. What was that, sorry? I said I, I, you need to take me out of this for a spin in your new car so I can True sample ride. the new car smell. Absolutely, yeah. You can go around any time. That's what me and Ben done yesterday because we've done a bit of a Facebook Live. So uh, I was driving, Ben was in the passenger seat and he went on his Facebook Live and we just had a little bit of a tour about, so it was fine. Enjoyed awesome. It. That is still on Ben's Facebook page. I shared it onto mine as well. So have a look at that in between shows. Now, what we're going to do is I've taken some watercolour card and it is six inches by four and a half inches. And we're going to lay some colour down. So I'm going to go into midnight. So what I'm going to do, Joe, is I'm going to go in with midnight to the top pine tree within the middle and then a bit of baby blue along the bottom. We're going to blend them together and create a little bit of a backdrop. So we're going in with the top one and then we're going to blend them all together. And what we're doing is we're creating our own little backdrop. You can use pattern paper if you want, it's entirely up to yourself. For instance, ones that would work a treat for this one is well, actually one of your favourites, you know from the staycation? Oh yes. You know that how you You've yeah. got that nighttime feel, don't yeah, you? Yeah, it's beautiful, like the dusky one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So I was thinking of that when I was having a look at these ones, how you can start to incorporate all of them if you so wish. But yeah, if you do like your inking, whether it's water reactive, whether it is your aqua pens, maybe your sparkle pens even. Uh, Pam wants to know, does anyone actually read the manual in the car? Or like, their, like she does, do you only use it as a reference if a light comes on on the dashboard? Uh, mine... Mine doesn't, my manual's like in the, in, in the screen, that's such a strange thing to say. My manual, I think, on my car is digital, like there's a sort of turny, twisty thing in the middle and you have to try and access it. I just, whenever a light comes on, I take a picture of it and post it to Facebook and hope someone, hope someone knows what it is. Yeah. That's my, that's my go-to. Do you know uh, what it is though, Joe? Yes, usually I would be exactly the same. But with this car, because it's got a lot of uh, mod cons in it, you know, I, I didn't get anything extra with it. I just, you know, what was already standard with the car. But it's a lot more than what my last car had. So I feel as though I am going to have to have a proper look through the manual just to get have familiar. Have a good old read, yeah. Uh, Sandra's um, husband would like to know what kind of car it is. So it's a Vauxhall Crossland. Right. I've been calling it Vauxhall Crosslander. Right. But it's actually Vauxhall Crossland. Uh, and you're happy with it? I it love looks it. It's gorgeous out there, it really does. Uh, loads of people uh, chatting about the fact that we've got more beautiful Christmas collections coming up as well. Uh, Jane loving them. Uh, Carol saying how beautiful the finished samples are. Melissa's very excited for a shaker card as well. Uh, some beautiful collections we've had and another one uh, today. And I think what's great about this particular one, Craig, is it again is a big die that's doing all the work for you, isn't it? So if you've got exactly. lots of cards to make, Lots of different themes in there, but also very easy to make lots of cards. It is. It really, really is. As we always say, you can go as detailed as you want, or you can go as simplistic if you want. That's what these are all about. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a little bit of a mix and a match. So I've blended in this colour here. You could go deeper if you want, like the one I'll show you just shortly. But what I'm also going to do is bring in some white Centura Peril. This one I've cut to six inches by four. Now with these dies, because they are so, so intricate, Joe, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in my metal shim. Please don't ever be afraid to use your metal shim for intricate dies. That's what it's there for. 
Majority of the time you will find it will cut without the metal shim, but because it's detailed, do you know what? Add it. Just make, you know what, it's about giving or letting the machine do it with ease. And if that's what the metal plate's going to do, go for it. So that's what I am going to do. So what I've done is the size that I cut it, six by four, it is actually pretty much the size of the die. To be exact, the die for this one anyway is six inches by 3.5. And we're going to cut it as if we would with any other die. So with this style that I'm going to make, you could, well, I'm doing it with the junior, so you could do it with the midi as well if you want to. But we can then start to bring this one in and then we can start to do a little bit of layering up. If I come in here. Do you ever build snowmen at Christmas time, Joe? I do, but I don't feel like we have enough snow the last few years to do them, Craig. Yeah. You need a lot of snow for a snowman, don't you? Oh, you do. Yeah, like, you good really ample do. amount of snow. Do you get lots of snow in Scotland? We can do, but certainly where uh, I'm from, Carnoustie, and then up the road, Arbroath, Dundee, because we're on the, we have the River Tay, right. the air can be really salty, so right. therefore snow doesn't actually lie for very long right, because okay. the salty air just dissolves it. And it's not salty as if, you know, you're walking down the high street and all you can just breathe in is salt air on your tongue, you know, but yeah. having that salt in the air is uh, more than enough to... Uh, to not get so much snow. To not get so much snow. Uh, um, yeah, I do like to build a snowman. I did go skiing once on holiday, Craig, and there was a lot of snow. We built a lot of snowman. Snow, yeah. ma snow, snow, snowmans. Snow, snow yeah. man's is. That's not, that's not the right way. No. We've got lots of snow people, snow is, what pe we, is what we built. Ev even then, you know, snow people to me just doesn't sound right. Does it not? What, what's wrong with seeing a snowman or a snowwoman? Let's oh, just yeah, absolutely. You know? uh, Cindy says for us, uh, US is Vauxhall a Ford group. Does Ford still manufacture farm tractors there? I think a Vauxhall is an Opal in the States, isn't it? Unless I'm mistaken. Let me know. Yeah, and let me know, because I know nothing about cars. Yeah, me neither. I'm pretty poor. Um, I, <laughs> Tracy has to tell me uh, how much pressure goes in each of my tyres whenever I need to fill them up with some air. Really? And every time I do it, I forget, and she has to tell me again, yeah, by looking on the... Do you, am I, has anyone else ever had this, right? On your, in your car, inside the driver's door, there's a plate, and it tells you how much air needs to be in your tyre, dependent on the tyre size that you have. Now, I don't know if it's just me, or that is like a foreign language to me, because I look at the plate, I look at the tyre, I look at the plate, I look at the tyre. I have no idea what I'm looking for, Craig. Could not tell you. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not good. I'm one of those that whenever I go home to Scotland, I always uh, get my stepdad to check everything for me, just to make sure. Make sure everything is uh, all good. Although my last car, when you opened the bonnet, anything that I needed to, you know, keep an eye on, always had caps that were yellow. So like the water, the oil. Oh, okay. And there was something else that was yellow caps. Yeah, I once had some really good epic fails, uh, Craig. I bought a car uh, and the, I knew the tire, one of the tires nearly needed changing. Right. Wasn't, wasn't completely low, but I thought that will need to be done soon. Um, I actually ended up having a blowout on the motorway, pulled over, called the RAC, or the AA, whoever I was with at the time. Uh, they turned up and said, oh yeah, brilliant, all right, we'll change it, we'll, we'll get it off for you, get a new one on. Uh, where's the locking wheel nut key? <laughs> <gasps> Turns oh out when I bought the car, yeah. hadn't checked the locking wheel nut key, I had no locking wheel nut key, Craig. I had to take it to the garage, they had to cut the wheel nuts off of the car that no were on there, way. and replace them all, because no I didn't, get, didn't have the key, I didn't have like the, the, the special, thing that goes on it. I'm what, just nightmare. a nightmare. I'm a nightmare. What um, a nightmare. See, Joe, can I just quickly explain uh, what yeah. I'm doing here? Just very, very quickly. What I've done is I've taken another one. So I've die cut it twice. This is kind of a stencil in a way. And what I was doing there was I was just doing little black dots so that I can then add a little bit of colour. What that's going to do is that's going to add extra definition so if ah. I go and pop that over the top we can see here we've got the black just peeping through it's a nice way of doing it so that you don't have to go in with a fine liner or maybe you don't want to do that paper piece in only enough so that you've got that black 
just popping through that you can see there. And then what I've also done, and this is the delicate part, the intricate part that I've already done, is using the same die, so I have, I've popped this on a piece of either your double-sided adhesive sheet, or you could use your uh, stick and spray, that I'll show you in a minute. I've die cut it out, and some of you are going to be, oh, Craig, this looks awesome. Some of you at home will be like, oh my gosh, Craig, there's no way I would spend time doing that. What I've done is some of all these little intricate bits down here, what I've done is I've kept a hold of them and I've coloured them with some of my tri-blend pens right. so that I can come back and paper piece that back into place. How have you kept them sort of together like that, Craig? So once that the die cut, so I know I've not got anything in here, so I know that is the top of the hat of the Mrs. Snowman, that's the hat of Mr. That's the scarf in there. So what I would then just do is I just go along and poke out the bits that I want. They're going to then stay within a certain area. Or if you're really careful, again, leave it flat, use your die tool, carefully remove it, and it'll all be left within situ on your glass mat or your craft mat. Awesome. So that's what I tend to do. Me personally, I tend to just pop out all the bits so that I've got them here and I've already coloured them in and then what I can start to do is I can start to layer all these layers up together. Fantastic. Lots of people talking about the snow. Gemma says, when I lived uh, in Aberdeenshire when I was a kid, it was thick and amazing, but it doesn't happen uh, so much now. Uh, Vicky loves the snowman. Uh, can't wait to get my stash. Carol's inviting us to Ohio. Apparently you can make a fort with the snow there. Uh, Lynn also saying the snowmen are her favourite. Uh, Rosalind says, we finally got a little accumulation this past winter uh, in Maryland as well, talking about the snow. Um, the, uh, do, there's a lot of questions about you... Um, whether it's a, a fairy or an angel, Craig. Oh, is well the fairy die actually an angel with a halo? Uh, it probably is actually an angel, to be honest with you, yeah. I suppose you could do a little bit of snippage and uh, it could snippage. be... Snippage? Snippage. It is an angel, apparently, an yeah. elegant one at that. And very elegant, isn't it? Very, 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 very elegant. elegant. Uh, Shelley's got a question, says, Good morning from Florida, recently discovered Crafters TV. I am hooked. Everyone is so talented and funny. I look forward to starting my morning with Crafters TV. Thank you uh, for all that you do. Congrats on all your nominations. Are we allowed to vote in the US? I believe you are allowed to vote through the Crafts Beautiful Facebook page. Uh, I believe that's how a lot of you uh, in the US have been voting. Uh, but let me know in the comments, have you voted if you're in the US and how did you do it? Uh, I'm sure someone will be able to help you out with that, Shelley. Definitely. So I've layered it up. Now I have been using my dotty tape runner, but because I've used water reactive and technically it's still wet, what's happening is it's just coming away from that background. So therefore I've added a little bit of my tacky glue. So what I can then do now, what I'm going to go is because I've used my self adhesive stickiness, so it's my spray that I've used, I can then come all the way along and I'm going to paper piece these bits out. And this was actually a demo. I hummed and had whether I should do it on wake up call because it is a time consuming card to do because all the paper piecing bits are small. But I, I really wanted to show you within wake up call that you can do uh, intricate die, die cutting, intricate dies intricate cards with the dies That's intricate paper see. piecing yeah yeah That's yes it. um carol says florida we make sand people since we don't have any snow Imagine that. Oh, that's How a good awesome. One. Uh, Craig, that is a great hint of colouring the dyes. I will be trying that later, says Carol, uh, Carol on Facebook. Well, glad to be of service. Carol, uh, remember loads coming up today, that launch day, but also then, of course, Great Cravings, uh, both with the lovely Jan, who you may be seeing very shortly. Maybe. Uh, so just stick around for that. Maybe indeed. Now, what I would then carry on doing is paper piecing all those bits all the way through, and then this is how it looks. What I've done is on the tree, I've gone in with a little bit extra colour from my tri-blends. And then what I'm going to do is let's go in with this one that I've also pre-prepped. So what we can do is if I then position that one over the top, then what I can do is I'm going to come in with some of uh, a sentiment. So one of my Christmas sentiments. 
And then I'm also going to come in with a border strip here where I have popped some ribbon. And then last but not least, what I've done is I've taken some of our Centura Pearl. So it's the length of our Centura Pearl, so A4, and I've then trimmed it at six and a half inches. What I've then done is scored at half an inch, I've scored at one and a quarter inches, and then I've scored at six and a half. Then this is going to give me a really shallow stepper card. So what I can then do as well, going in with my tape, let's work our way all the way round. We can then go in to the middle. Seem to have been doing quite a few kind of like concept style cards lately, Joe. Check you out. I know. From someone that says it doesn't do them a lot, I've been doing quite a few lately. You're a bit of a crafty purist, aren't you, Craig? A crafty purist. Yeah, absolutely. I love it all in its basic, natural, naked form. When naked. it comes to the card layouts. Naked. There we go. Mm. Can't have a card without a foam pad. Does that rhyme? Can't have a card. Naked? No, no. naked isn't right. <laughs> Sorry? Can't have a card without a foam pad. No. No, it doesn't, does it? And then there we go. There is our card using our snowman, or joyful snowmen, family, ladies, children, whatever you like. We've got our card. We'll sit just nicely. So a, 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 a very, um, I'm not going to say complicated, but certainly a time consuming. Time consuming. We've done a little bit of inking, we have done a little bit of colouring, and we've also done a little bit of paper piecing as well. So there we go, that one is coming up within launch day, also with Jan and Joe. That is the Create a Card Scene Edgeable Collection, eight die, or eight elements. That's because you've got six dies, you've got the die brush and the foam as well. You may have had a little bit of a sneak peek as to who's just coming up in a wee moment or two, but that is today's price being $67.99 or $79.95. Platinum price that comes down to $54.39, or of course it comes down to $63.96 for you guys across stateside. If you are across in Europe, you just need to go to either .eu for across in Europe, but crafterscompanion.co.uk or .com for here in the UK or for the United States of America. But that's going to be three o'clock here in the UK, 10 a.m. Eastern time or 7 a.m. Pacific time with Jan and Joe. Absolutely, it will be. Make sure you don't miss that. Something else I want to talk to you about is a great deal we've got for you on the luxury car stack. Now, this stuff, stuff is awesome because what you get is the same colourway but in the three different finishes. So you get 90 sheets total here. So you get 10 sheets of the green glitter, 10 of the mirror, 10 of the matte mirror, and you get the same in that gorgeous silver and in that truly stunning Christmas red. So you've got your three sort of hero colours, really, when it comes to your Christmas crafting. Essentially, buying two and getting one free there. Less than £16, uh, just over £25.50 for Club Inspire Platinum members, which is absolutely awesome. Now, uh, myself and Craig are usually here with you, or, or, you know, Craig and Ben, or whoever the presenter is, but I'm also joined by the lovely Jan today as well. How are you, Jan? Well, I'm saying I'm good, Joe. I've got a very croaky voice oh, today. No. So I'm fingers crossed that it lasts the whole day. Otherwise, Let's, we're going to be in trouble. Well, I can jabber on as much yes. as you need to. As so you I go might need the day. to do sign language by the other day and you fill in for me. So, yeah, other than that, I'm OK. Excellent. Uh, but I'm just a bit worried about the voice. So, yeah, very croaky today. But yes. I've got some gorgeous new Loads dyes. Loads coming up, isn't there? Three o'clock, yes. I've got a brand new launch with, they're almost like a hybrid, Joe, because mm. the class is a creator card guide, but they're an edgeable. Mm. So they work on the edges of the cards. We've got six new designs for you, and those are coming up at three o'clock. Got some fantastic demos lined up for that. And then, of course, we've got Creative Cravings. Absolutely. At seven o'clock. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to the day. And I'm also going to do a little demo on our Craig show, I, f I feel as if I'm... Uh, You're like a guest star. Yeah, like I feel Dynasty as if I'm so... I've not done this before. I have been on Craig's show before, but not to demo. Oh. Yeah, I came in as a guest a couple of times, actually. I think the very first week that he started, I actually popped in to say hello. But I've not come in and done a demo well, before. Well, do you know so, what? Yeah. Why don't we change that, Jan? I I'll tell you what. Yeah. Why don't we play a piece of VT and then... After that, we'll get, we'll get to doing cracking. a demo. Fantastic. All right, fantastic. Here's how to watch and all the details of Club Inspire. How to. 
Hi, I'm Sarah from Crafters TV and I'm here to show you how you can get the best deals and shop while you watch during our shows. The best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. So head over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV home where you can see all of our shows plus exclusive offers and even shop while you watch. Now, if you want to get involved and comment along, you can head on over to our community pages. Come say hello, ask us some questions and chat along live with us. Or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay our shows direct onto your big screen or stream us live through YouTube. We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule. So don't forget to check in. It's never been easy to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV, so come join us as we create every day. Welcome to Club Inspire, the Crafters Companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. All the details out on how to watch and also Club Inspire. Remember, if you want to get in touch with us, you can do so in all the normal ways. Crafters TV over on Facebook, Crafters Companion across on YouTube. Very chatty bunch today, Craig, aren't they? What's everyone saying? Very chatty, absolutely. Yeah, so uh, I've come across here because uh, Jan's is getting ready. She's going to be doing a demo just in a moment or two. But yeah, let's have a look and see. So we've got uh, Peg on Facebook who said, oh, cute card, Craig. Thank you very much. I'm glad, glad you enjoyed that. And I'm glad that you, you liked that little bit more of an... Uh, uh, extravagant card for a wake-up call. So I'm glad so that you extravagant like that for a Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. I thought, let's go. If we can go big, let's do it on a Wednesday. Gemma on Facebook is saying, oh my God, I ordered the tacky glue and it's amazing. Knew you would love it. I use it for everything so far. Is there anything I should avoid using it with? Uh, nothing that jumps out at me as to as such. You can use it with maybe on a non-poor surface like an acetate or that. You just need to take in, in, in consideration you need a lot longer for it to dry. It would work. Acetate, I personally would tend to use a, a wet glue, things like tape runner or, or red liner tape. But uh, yeah, there is a lot of stuff that your tacky glue will work for, certainly glitters, etc., etc. Uh, we've also got Rosalind on Facebook saying, love the card. Um, lots of you actually saying, yeah, that was a cute card. Um, if you love that one, then again, launch day with Jan and Joe coming up after wake up call full two hours of the brand new launch day products. Lynn on Facebook is saying hi Jan it's lovely to have you on wake up call today this is going to be so so good going to go from like two of us to then three of us within sections of wake up call really looking forward to this one means means I get I get to do a Joe and a Ben I get to have a little bit of a seat as well Absolutely. in the middle you've got of the yourself, show. Oh, you've got your juice you I've, right. I've, 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 I don't have a warm drink I've got my uh, crafter's companion juice well, it's not Crafters Companion juice. Crafters imagine companion. if we did Crafters Companion juice. <gasps> it, would it would purple. have to be sparkly. It would sparkly. have to be like edible sparkles in it. Yeah, because you get that there on the market. There's a, a gin that has that sparkly mm. kind of liquid that flows through, doesn't it? So it could be a sparkly, fruity blackcurrant juice mm. called Crafters Companion. There's a good one. There we go. Maybe we, we can pitch that to Leanne that's and what I was uh, just the about product to development say team. As well. Uh, yeah. Sorry, no, no, <laughs> any other okay. comments you've got, keep getting them in. Jan, she's over there, she's like a coiled spring. Honestly, she's ready, she's, she's just been doing her pre-demo yoga. Uh, she's just been doing the, uh, I think it was the lotus pose you were doing there, wasn't it, Jan? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I wish, Joe, I'm not that flexible. And we'll have the craft pose at the ready, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, this is really exciting, honestly. I've got a very squeaky voice. You'll have to forgive me this morning. I feel as if I'm on the uh, the sooty show with it. it keeps going high and low. <laughs> so yeah, please forgive me, but I'm here. I've got this squeaky voice, but I'm here. So uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you one of the items that's coming up on Creative Cravings later on this evening here in the UK at 7 p.m. And we've got the reveal uh, window dies on. So what I've done is I've brought in the main setup die because this has the concept die in it and then there are lots of extra pieces that you can get to go with it in the bundle where we can change the design that happens in the little window so you get one comes in the setup die and that gives you this kind of effect so you've got the one design at the beginning and then there's a little tab that says pull me very very cleverly done when you pull you get a different design in that little window. Good to see these on so, what is honestly, essentially a more maybe beginner's show, yeah. Jan, because you would look at these, wouldn't you, and think, gosh, they are going to be off the chart difficult to put together. Yeah, well, I was, I was really pleased when it came up on Creative Cravings because I have literally taken it right back to basics. I'm just going to do something very, very straightforward, concentrating actually on this mechanism, which goes together really simply. Once you've seen it done, Honestly, you'll think, wow, you know, you get a terrific result with it. And it is such a simple idea. Everything's die cut ready, all the right size and shape. So I've got a few more samples and I've got some of the boards. Um, so if I just pop these on here for you to have a look at, each set has got the little stamp set in and then you get some matching dies to cut elements out so let me just make clear then the first one if I take this out has got the con what I call the concept die in so this tall piece here and this piece which is what we're going to cut in a second so you need this set to make the whole thing work will this go and for our junior jan or do we need the big one for this you will need the larger okay, plates look. to fit this one through unless we've talked about before doing it half and half okay so you could put half of it through on your junior and then move it along and do the other half with it just being an outline at the top it's it's not actually so bad okay doc. so with that one comes the little letter set so you get that one and that makes the one that I showed you at the top there okay and as I say when we pull you've got the little letter closed and when we pull you've got it open and the little sentiments are there for you to stamp cute. inside so I'm thinking cute, of you it? really really cute and then I've got a couple of the other designs there are more than this I've got the birthday one and I'm going to demo that one later on in the seven o'clock show so I've got that one to demo and again you can see where you get separate elements so you've got the, the cake and the balloon with the dies to actually cut these out as embellishments so you can see with the one that I was looking at at the beginning there you've got a couple of extra embellishments if I find you the one with the balloons on here you can see we've got that lovely little present going on and when we pull, the present's opened and you've got that surprise in there, but you've got the extra elements that you can work with to embellish your card. So again, as much or as little as you wish. And then also I've got the boards for the celebration one. So this time we've actually got the champagne bottle and the glasses. And again, if I show you the design, this one's been done on uh, easel card there. So you can just see how that one stands. But again, we've got that same idea where you've got the bottle and the glasses at the ready, but then when we pull to reveal, you've got the bottle and the bubbles Brilliant. all open. Love that. It's a clever idea, isn't it? And you think, yeah, how on earth have they done it? But when I show you how it's done, if you've not seen these demonstrated before, they are really, really simple. Could we now, use other things in here, Jan, as well, like pictures and stuff like that? You could put photos to. and things in there, Joe. Yeah, absolutely right. Uh, again, just cut them with that concept die so that they f the mechanism works. And I'll show you what I mean with that in a second. Uh, I was just going to show you a couple. In fact, I've just got one more there one of the different designs and this I love this little one you've got the caterpillar on the front there under the daisy and then of course what does a caterpillar turn into but when we reveal a beautiful oh, meddling beautiful butterfly I had to bring you that one on Joe <laughs> <laughs> so shall we have a look at how they work then yes Let's please pop these to one side can I just so, say as well do you know what that would be good for 
do you know if you want maybe your parents or grandparents you want to do a gender reveal card? Mm. Oh, or, what a brilliant a idea! Gender, yeah, yeah, so could, that would be a good idea for that. Fantastic! Yes, it would, wouldn't it? So you could pull it. Yeah. Is it a boy? Is it a girl? Exactly. I like that idea. Yeah. So in your main setup, then the reveal the setup, we're going to get that worker mechanism. We're also going to get that little set of stamps that has the letter and the little bird on that I showed you at the beginning. And inside each one, you've got a booklet with the information to uh, all the instructions on how to actually create that mechanism. Obviously, the rest of the design is up to you. I've said before, you know, your decoration is personal to either yourself or whoever you're sending that to. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually take these two pieces and we're going to cut that mechanism and show you how that actually works. So you will need a piece of A4 card for this to fit on. And I'm going to take the second piece, which is only half the size, does give you a little bit left there to, uh, to stamp on. So I'm going to pop this in my Gemini and as I say, I've got the large Gemini. You can see there the size of that. If I pop it on the, um, the plates there, you can see why. I'm talking about using the large Gemini. Now, if you haven't got that and you've only got the junior, you could pop this part in, have your cardstock obviously half of it, and you would be able to pop it in, leave that cardstock out of the edge of your plates, cut half of it, and then just shuffle it along and put it through again to cut the other half, because obviously this one would fit in the junior. Any sort of cardstocks we should or shouldn't be using for these sorts of... Um you know, mechanical dies, I Jan. found on this occasion, Joe, that maybe not too thick. Uh, I've actually got a piece of Nina card here, and the one okay. I've done for the demo, I've used the Nina Desert Storm. I've got a bit of a crush on that at the you minute. Have, I've been you have using it a lot, yeah. I sort of rediscovered it a couple of weeks ago, and I have been using it quite a lot. And I think um, the Nina's about, I'm just thinking, it's about 160, I think, altogether. But as long as it will withstand the actual uh, way the system works, I'll show you what I mean, then any of your cardstock, you know, the cardstock from the paper pads or the textured cardstock would work, something like that. You could probably even get away with uh, patterned paper if you oh, wish. Wow. So I'm going to pop that through the Gemini. I've just put the normal sandwich on there for thin metal dies. And we're going to pop that through there. Oh. And this creates the piece that creates that pulley. Um, and I'll show you how that goes together. Awesome. Karen Fisher saying, I have the window reveal set. And I put a picture of our dogs behind it for Father's Day for my oh, husband. Beautiful. He loved yep. it. Oh, do send us a picture of that in, Karen, later if you would. And we'll try and show that in that latest show. So we just need those two pieces that it's die cut. And then I'm going to pop these back out of the way there. Take the tape off that one. My tape's misbehaving this morning. There we go. How's your situation? How's your friendship with foam pads going, Jan? How's my what, sorry? Friendship with foam pads. Friend or foe this week? Uh, well, I've not. Oh, I've got a couple in this demo. But when I was here the other day, they were behaving fine. But I've got Craig on hand this morning. I'm just so I'm sorted if I have trouble fastest, this morning. Fastest foam just pad finger this in. side of Carnoustie. The fastest is. finger first. I've so. got my finger at the ready. <laughs> 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 we'll stop that conversation there, Craig. Yeah, we're better. <laughs> Yeah, let's just stop there. <laughs> so again, you've got those two worker mechanisms there to create the concept. So it's cut the little tiny piece out of the top there. You can just see that there's like a little opening there at the top and there is a score line. So when we fold this in half, if I bring one of those cards back in again, you can see where we're starting to create the shape. And we've got lots of little loose tabs on this one. All right. And the one underneath has got the corresponding sort of slots in. So the way it works, and I'm going to stamp on here in a second, but just to show you the way it works, this pops through the little hole at the top there. And then just making sure that you're working in the right order. So for example, tab number one just pops through there and slots into slot number one. It's quite amazing, yeah, yet yeah, straightforward, yeah. isn't Second it, how this one works? goes in slot number two third one number three, fourth one number four, and then literally you've got the means for this to actually close and open. How amazing. Close and open. Now let me stamp on it for you because it'll be more obvious what I mean when um, we actually do the stamping. Now telling fibs I've got the presents in this one, I thought this was later on in the day, but I've got the presents here. So this one is reveal the gift. So we've actually got 
the two little presents there, one closed, so this is going to go on the front of that reveal, and then you've got it open to go on the inside. So I've just grabbed my best friend here, got my stamping platform at the ready. I'm going to pop this inside first, this is the, um, the longer piece, and get this one settled. And on here, we want the front design, so I want that present in its closed state. Okay, and I'm going to line that up over these actual pieces that are cut here. So I'm just going to sort of look either side and see that we're actually about central and then literally stamp right over the top of those little uh, pieces that have been cut. So I've just brought one of my alcohol pads with me because I use, I've got this ready done for you and I use my uh, tri-blend markers again, no surprise there. A great deal on these for you as well. Platinum members, you can see they're 38, 36 or 5101. You're getting the setup, then you're also getting the gift, the oak, the feathers, the baubles and the butterfly in there as well. So really brilliant. You're going to have something for lots of different occasions there too. And of course, then the option to bring things like your own photos and pictures into exactly. this. Yeah. Uh, a great way of using up really some of your you know, patent papers and other stuff in your stash, I'm thinking too. Because I, I, I don't have these sets. I've never to date had these on any of my shows. So I'm actually watching, like you at home, if you've not seen them, I'm watching what Jan's doing. And I'm just amazed actually how simplistic that they are. It great. is. It's so easy to put together once you've seen it. Great so in front of a card. Imagine a great tag as well, Jan. Uh, yes, you could do. No, you I love a tag. Yeah, once it's folded tags. up, um, what we're looking at when it's actually closed, we're looking at... Uh, three and a quarter inches by four and three quarters so it is manageable ones because this has actually got a score line here we're going to fold the edges in when we come to put the mechanism together and you will end up with a piece literally this size when you're done so yeah quite a nice little tag shape there Joe Beautiful. that's a good idea too yep so we need to stamp the second piece that's going to fit underneath now this one Two ways of doing it, you can pop this in and stamp straight onto it, but we need to stamp, because this one's going to pull up to reveal, the stamp needs to be lower down. Okay. So what I tend to do, just as a, a guidance point, is actually pop it in situ here, through that little, uh, little slot there. Pop these pieces in, remembering to start at the top and feed these into the corresponding sections. So you can see now that with it pushed down, we've got that main image. When we pull this up, it's going to cover that main image. Oh. So what I like to do is make sure that this is sort of central in the back and then just pop a little tiny pencil mark top and bottom. Awesome. And then that gives me a guideline as to where to stamp this next piece. So you can see I'm going to come right down here rather than stamping totally on those little um, slits. So let's pop this one in here as well. See, I and would do that, Jan. I would be inclined to actually stamp right into the middle. I did before. the first yeah. time, Craig. When I first used these, I did exactly that and then couldn't work out why it wasn't working when I actually pulled up the... Um, the reveal window. So yeah, you'd be, you know, you'd be thinking, oh, I'm going to work here over the actual yeah. slits, but because this one moves up, we actually need the image lower down. So I'm just going to centre this now between those two little uh, pencil marks and make sure that I've got it in the right place. And then I'll show you what I mean when this goes actually together. So again, we're just going to do exactly the same. Ink that up with your chosen ink pad and get that one stamped out on there as well. So that's all the stamping done for now. And you can see that goes over all the slits there. So when I pop this back together now, you can see what I mean. So when we put this back through the little slot here, and again, make sure, just make sure that you start right at the top and pop these in the corresponding slots at the back. So once it's pushed down, it would start out life like so so that you can see that front one. But then when we pull this up, because this is moving up, wow. we need so that clever, isn't it? lower down. Does that make sense? Yeah. So clever. Yeah. So I've done exactly that, but as I say, I used the, um, the Desert Storm and I've added some colour. So I've got the little present on the front one and then I've done exactly the same with that 
sort of bursting open on the inside. Do we get and instructions in with that main die, Jane? Yes, absolutely. You've got all the instructions come with each one, not just the main die. Excellent. You will get them in the smaller packs as well. Oh, fantastic. Okay. So I've actually got this one prepped a little bit further because I've burnished the folds and I've just popped a little bit of red line tape on those glue tabs because we're actually going to secure this together to make it one unit and then I've just put a little tiny bit at the bottom here I like to just do this because when this moves up and down what we don't want to happen is it come down below the actual mechanism right. here great idea. so yeah I'm going to slot that through there I'm going to pop these into those corresponding slits at the other side like we did with the white one and then just get this in position and it will go right down to where the tape is. Fold these side edges over the top so that that's encased inside it. And then I'm just going to use my uh, pokey tool to take that tape off there. And then actually seal this so that this piece is inside. And then you've got that ready to use on whatever project you're wanting to make. So this has all been die cut, so we know that everything is going to is going to join up beautifully. Great that it's also neat and self-contained when you're done right. as well. Yeah. You haven't got anything yeah. to bits to cover or go over or anything like that. And then once we've got this, we've got it closed with that little present, and then when you move it up, <laughs> we've got it's the so reveal. Cute. It's such a so clever cute. idea. It really is. You've just got that sort of little surprise feature in there. And then that's ready for you to actually place on your card. So I've used some of the other elements out of the kit. So if I bring that concept kit back in. You could be writing oh, secret messages you or could. love letters under there, Jan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've actually got other pieces on here. So this one makes a gorgeous little frame to go on here together nice. with the square that's just been cut the right size to actually frame that little picture. So I've cut that out in some turquoise and we're going to use this over the top to just frame it. And you've now got that sort of literally inside, they're like little Polaroid frames, yeah, I think. Are, really. And then also on here, you've got lots of different embellishment pieces that you can use with it. And then you've also got this little piece here at the top, which makes the piece that we're going to fold over and I've just stamped pull me which is in the main set that comes with your concept die and when we fold this in half this is going to go over the top of here just to give that little instruction in case somebody's not seen that idea before so what we're going to do then is we're going to pop these on I've got some tape at the ready because I didn't know how long it was going to take to do where uh, Jan, All see, while you're using the red liner tape, can I actually ask you the same question that Gemma had asked? Because you, like your adhesives, you've done the glue, stu glue school as well uh, when she was asking about the tacky glue. Have you got any suggestions or ideas of any surfaces she should avoid using with tacky glue? Um, I, I would sort of avoid the paper and cardstock, to be honest, Cray, because tacky glue is water-based. I don't know whether you've ever experienced when you've been using... Um, Paper and cardstock, you get that wrinkling effect in your paper. Um, when you're matting and layering, sometimes the paper wrinkles around the edges. Yeah. And that is quite often if you're using a glue that's water-based like tacky glue. So if you did want to use it on your mats and layers, I would be using it very, very sparingly. Um, I've got another glue school coming up as part of Saturday's show, actually. So if you missed that, we're going to recap some of the different glues on Saturday when I'm back. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I would always revert to my collateral purpose for paper and cardstock. But again, it's just a preference, Craig. I always say there's no right or wrong. No. I would advise people to have a go with glues and see which one suits you best. And so that's, that's purposely why I wanted Oops. to ask you that question as well yeah. as me, you know, because sometimes we've got other we're ideas all or suggestions. So, yeah. yeah, thanks, Imagine John. if we were all the same, Jen, how boring it would be. So you can see there, we've got that working now. That's all ready to go on our court. So all there is left to do then is just to pop a few layers together. I've just chosen some pattern cardstock out of one of my... Uh, That's a really cute pattern paper. ...designs. Uh, I think this is out of the um, All Occasions paper pad that came out with the... Um, year of crafts book if, if i remember rightly i have all sorts of pads lying around so it's a case of grab one and whatever I takes my fancy well, on yeah. that day 
but train I think ticker that's, north, I think though. that both this one and the plain card stock is from those uh, that selection. But I just like the combination of the um, the turquoise with the sort of craft. I've used craft card for my base card. Aisha actually just saying Jan's use of craft papers with pastels uh, is always very pretty, very vintage, but shabby chic. I like it. Yeah. So it's just a basic five by seven card that opens in your book style, and then you've got this just the right size to actually fit on the front there. So again, I'm just I've got a brand new tape pen today, Joe. Oh no, a new one. just before I came on the show, because um, they're notorious for running out on me, aren't they? So I'm just going to pop this at a little angle here, and I've just put glue on the back of that actual casing, not on the tab that we've got going on. Whoops, what have I stuck down? Something's stuck together. Oh, what have I done? And, um... Oh. Um... Diane saying uh, how adorable that is, Jan. Uh, Debbie saying as well. Uh, I can see that in a scrapbook or a children's book. What a great idea for interactive Absolutely. elements in scrapbooks, Craig. Yeah, really, really love that. Good. Or how about like your memory, uh, the um, you know memory books that Me we've yep. done. Uh, they would work brilliantly in there along things uh, side things like. Uh, your waterfalls um, again really great great that they're interactive i bet these are brilliant for children's cards as well jan you know if you just want to have that in that element yeah. that you can pull a bit like a sort of pop up or pop out element so loads of different things and different ways you're going to be able to use them remember as well what you're getting on there uh, you're essentially getting two of just uh, just under uh, two of the uh, embellishing collections the stamps and dies which are going to be enable you to theme them for free here because you're saving 12 pounds or 16 dollars essentially Platinum members, uh, you're looking at what, 38, 36, or 5101, uh, which is excellent. Uh, so um, you're going to get in there the main worker die. Uh, you're also then getting as well, uh, don't forget the uh, reveal the gift, reveal the mighty oak, reveal the feathers, reveal the bubbles, and also yeah. reveal the butterflies as well. Uh, but more demos, Jan, coming up on that at 7 pm. Absolutely, yeah. I'm not quite sure what I've done, Joe. I think I've caught something with the tape because my mechanism's not working anymore, but uh, I'll show you the sample one. Oh, uh, you I think I've got a bit too overzealous with my tape and caught it on the edges because it's not actually moving, but you get the idea that with the pull, it does the reveal. Brilliant. Okay. So yeah, that's where we got to then with the, the turquoises and the, uh, the peaches. And if I turn you yeah. that one round, that's those reveal windows. So coming up later on at seven o'clock then on Creative Cravings. Brilliant. Amazing. Okay. Uh, I can't wait for that. We're talking of Creative Cravings. Uh, I need to let you know about the Hero Tool. It wouldn't be a Creative Cravings, would it, without a Hero Tool? And this week's is the Totally Tiffany Project Planner. This is how it comes to you. You're going to get two of them for this price as well. Let me show you the kind of thing that you're going to be able to achieve with this. Now, it really is a fantastic binder now the great thing i love about it is let me turn it over this way for you the great thing about it is that it is a three ring binder so any of anything else any wallets or pockets that you have that go into a three ring binder let me get this the right way around there we are any po pockets or wallets that you have already that go into a three ring binder you're absolutely going to be able to use them in here as well it's really good quality three ring binder we've then got different slots in here as well for different shaped cards so any of your off cuts how often with your 12 by 12 do you end up with those little off cut elements you've got a pocket in here for you to pop those uh, if you make a lot of dl cards you've got uh, room for those how about uh, things like your hunky dory collections where you end up with a lot of toppers or banners left over but then you're going to get the pockets as well and the pockets are excellent uh, and they've all got different shapes and size containers in here they've even got different um, sort of rungs on there where you can attach the um, the top onto and what that means is because they're gusseted it means you're gonna be able to get even deeper things like gems and embellishments into there as well a whole host of different sizes some really big 12 by 12 ones so uh, if you end up with you know pads of 12 by 12 you've only got a few left over pop them out you can store those in here it's a great way especially maybe if you don't have a craft room of organizing your um, projects that you've got on the go your works in progress would be 
be a great way to organise those, as well as maybe even keeping some of your finished projects and some of your collections. Love this pocket here because it's actually a double pocket and you've got that slip in there too. Uh, and again, a really nice big 12 by 12 pocket on the back there. And the other great thing about it is that you've got this elastication on here as well. It's going to keep it all nice and neat and close together. And they stack beautifully with labels on the end. So it could be a really good way of either reorganising some of your stash, staying on top of the projects that you're working on. Uh, and the great thing is, if you're working on a project, pop it in here, you can pull this in and out uh, and you're gonna be good to go to get on with that in a second. Remember you get two of those as well, which is fantastic. It's why it's a hero tool, but the hero tool, of course, when you hold the price for 24 hours, so you will need to be quick for that if you wanna get your hands on it. Uh, Lynn saying those reveal windows would make good alphabet cards to help teach children letters. Uh, yeah, great idea. Um, Aisha says as well, really love that Jan. Lynn says, cute card Jan. Uh, I like it done on Sandstorm Nina. Really, really lovely. Uh, effect there too. Gemma loving that last project uh, as well and Debbie of course mentioning mm -hmm. using them in things like your scrapbooks. I think you're going to find lots and lots of different ways to use those and remember that's all coming up at 7pm here in the UK, 2pm uh, East Coast, 11am West Coast. But next up Craig, we're going big, we're crafting big or going home aren't we? We are indeed and that's exactly what we're doing. We're going big and we're going to go big in sentiment style and this is what's also going to be coming up in Creative Cravings with Jan and Joe. So this is the Shape Word Die Collection, 35 elements in total. Now today's price being £80.95 or for you guys across the pond you're at $90.75. When it comes to the today's price works out you're saving 20% but with Platinum that means it's going to come down to $64.76 or $72.00. 60. Of course, you guys across Central Europe, you just need to uh, jump onto your website. And what it also works out as well is you buy the dies and you get all the stencils and that stamp set for free. So you can see that all the dies along the bottom there. So it's a uh, five die set, actually 10 dies because you get an outline die with them. I'll show you that in a moment. But all those stencils along the top and that sentiment stamp with 20 stamps is all included for free. So it's $64.76 or $72.60. If you've not seen these ones before, the reason I love these is it's a card, it's a decoration, but it says the sentiment all in a one -er. So we have got love. So this is where each of the die sets has two dies. So it's got the word, so we've got love, and that's then going to die cut out as a full sentiment of love. But then what you've got is you've got an outline. So that is what's going to create the black layer. So you've got a matte layer. But the whole idea is these are actually intended to make a card blank, which we're going to do in a moment. Then we've also got happy. Now, you know, you know by now, because you love seeing the boards, you, uh, you know how they work, it shows you them black and white, shows you everything. And what we even do is we tend to write on the back what they're called. Do, has someone written on the back of these? Happy. Uh -huh. So whoever it was that done these boards, thank you very, very much. They went to the extreme, extreme to put happy. They've even put love. How good's that of them, eh? All you need is love, apparently. Just in case, maybe you don't know what love is, or thanks is, or happy is. Now you do. So we've got thanks. So again, nice, big, sizable one, just to see. Definitely says thanks. Then we've got friend. Same again, each of them got the two dies as well. And if you just want to make sure it does say friend and not fiend or anything like that, fiend. you've got friend there. Last but not least, we've got hello. What one do you go into? Do you go into Adele or do you go into Lionel Richie? I'm confused now. I think probably Adele. Yeah. See, I go Lionel Richie. Is it me you're looking for? I go into that one there. And once again, just to make sure it does say hello, says hello. So that is the die. So ultimately, that's what you're paying for. Then what you've got is stencils that coordinate each of the sentiments. So within this one here, it's your hearts. Now, good, sizable ones here. So the dies that I showed you are 3.7 by 7.6 inches. But these stencils, each of them are 8.75 inches by 5 inches. So yes, they're going to cover what we're about to do in a moment, but you can use them as standalone. So that one is your heart stencil. That one is your leaf stencils. This one is your circle stencil. This one is your zigzag. It is actually zigzag, but of course it could be chevron if you wanted to. This one is your star stencil. So all of them that I've just showed you there, 
are working out that you're getting for free. So all of them here. But then what you're also going to get for free is this sentiment stamp. So this one, uh, specifically titled Celebration Sentiments. So you can work that in with your sentiment dies. So you could then do happy, and then you can stamp anniversary if you wanted to. Lots of different ways that you can get creative when it comes to your card. So let's dive straight in, and let's show you exactly how these work, because I am going to do a demo in the concept way, the way that's intended. So what I've done is I've got some of our white smooth stamping card that you can see here. So what I've wanted to do is I want to make sure it's wide enough, but also it's, uh, it's also well, tall enough, wide enough, whichever way you want to look at it, for it to have been cut twice. And I say that because what we're going to do is we're actually going to score it in half as if we are making a card blank. Sarah's asking if these can be used through the MIDI, Craig. So I am a way to, I'm just waiting to find my centre point, so it's seven and a half, so three and three quarters. So what I'm a way to do in a moment or two, if I bring this one in, you will see, goes through my junior no problem, which means it will go through your MIDI Fantastic. no problem as well. So really good question and being able to uh, answer these ones. Because sometimes initially, if you see the size of this, Joe, you may be uh, forgiven by thinking it's only going to go through the large machines, but they're going to go through our smaller ones, i.e. junior or, of course, our midi. So what I'm then going to do is I'm going to bring in the die and the outline die. So it die cuts all the way along, but at these top spots, what we've got is a score line doesn't actually die cut. So I'm going to pop that in the way that's intended. So I can kind of see that this is the way hello goes. If you need to double check, you can always line up that middle die. But that is the way that we're going to go. And what I'm also going to do with this one is that is it onto my cardstock. But what I'm going to do is you can see where my finger is at the top. I'm going to move up my die ever so slightly only until the edge of the die overlaps that fold of the cardstock. So what I can then do is secure it in place with my low tack tape. And then what we're going to do, Joe, is we're going to run it through and we're going to die cut it. Sounds fantastic. Um, Lynn says, Joe, has Craig filled you in about the Craft Olympics they were talking about yesterday? He hasn't yet informed me about the Craft Olympics, Lynn, no. Craig, do you care to inform me about the Craft Olympics? Yeah, but we're, funny enough, we were talking about that um, how we should get together and do a craft Olympics. So it could be, one of the games could be uh, us against each other, seeing how quick we can get the folder through the Gemini Mini. Right. Uh, I'm trying to think, what was the other one? Other one was the backing off the foam pad. Oh, there's no shot. I mean, where as well as stay at home off. with you? You've got to um, win that one hands down, Craig. I must say, I haven't really had the chance to watch much of the Olympics this year. Have you, Craig? I've not. No, I've yeah. not at all. It's on at a bit of a strange time, isn't it? Um, but I'm sure there's lots of... Um, do you know what it is, Craig? I don't have, like, real TV. You don't so have real TV. You know, I've lived in my flat for quite a while now. That's right. Well, the TV point is behind the sofa and the TV is on the other wall. So I only have like catch-up TV, which I watch through ah, the TV. Ah, right. So I don't just like have the TV on in the background. I think that's maybe why I've missed it this year. Got you, yeah. Do you know what it is as well for me? And it's not just the Olympics, Joe. It's a lot of things. Because they've not got the crowd at the moment. You know, I, I, I feel that makes a difference as well. Yeah. And I'll tell you what I have been enjoying, though. All the pictures of Tom Daly knitting and crocheting whilst watching, whilst watching the uh, swimming. Yeah, I think he's so fabulous. Uh, he's, he's got a, a dedicated Instagram account, you know, oh, for his he? knitting and crochet. And honestly, that boy is talented when it comes to knitting and crochet. Taught himself and has made the most incredible uh, garden garments. I think it's called something like Made With Love By Tom, his Instagram account, yeah. which is all about uh, his knitting and crochet, mates. They are sensational. But yes, I love pictures of him yesterday or the day before, sat watching the uh, women's diving whilst doing his knitting. I just think it's iconic. It's so good, isn't it? Do have to say, Tom Daly, if you are watching, I know you're out there at the moment, maybe you've got a bit of free time you're watching, if you ever want to come on Wake Up Call and do some yeah. uh, knitting or that, by all means, you are more than welcome. He, he, he even knitted a uh, pouch to put his gold medal in. I uh, know. See now, that? 
There was a couple of pictures of him actually knitting that while he was sitting in the audience, yeah. wasn't he? How amazing. He's also knitted a, a Team GB jumper, which is like a full-on jumper since he's been in Tokyo, uh, with Team GB across the back and also the Team GB logo uh, icon on the front. Just amazing. It Incredible. Is so good. And the thing is as well, as you know, you guys all know, you're kind of similar, Joe, in the fact we're not overly sporty people. But between the football, which I am not yeah. a football person, but I was enjoying towards the end of the the uh, the, ave the event. What, what was the that? event? The Euros. The competition. Competition. That's the right word. And then also the Olympics. How proud a country are we with oh, what yeah. all of them have been achieving? Yeah, Team GB do so well as well in the yeah. middle table. I know Team USA are also doing really, really well. It was lovely to see Simone Byers back yesterday as well, doing uh, getting a bronze. Uh, I know she's been having a bit of a, a, a troublesome time. So, yeah. yeah, it's great. Inspirational. I say I haven't been watching it. I've obviously been watching more than I yeah. think I've been watching. <laughs> I've been basically catching a lot of it on the news. Uh, but that's afterwards. like me. Yeah. Um, when I get ready in the morning, I instantly and automatically, I always put uh, Good Morning Britain on. The uh, Norwegian a 400 metre hurdle uh, yesterday broke his own record, Craig, by almost a whole second. No, his which own is like record. His own record, which was something like 40, his, the previous record was like 46 seconds something. Right. He beat his own world record by nearly a whole second, which is just like unheard of apparently. That, even to me, I would say that's unheard of. A whole second off, yeah. Amazing. Well done. Well done. But yes, Craft Olympics, we think we need to make that happen. Didn't we have, funny enough, I was thinking it as Georgina's just said it in my ear, didn't we have the youngest, uh, Olymp uh, Olympic medalist as well, oh. just the other day. Yeah, for G Team GB. 13 yeah. years old. I mean, I could barely tie my own shoelaces at 13, yet alone win an Olympic medal. I know, I was sitting at home watching The Simpsons at that age. <laughs> Never mind winning an Olympic medal. That is so, so proud. From someone like me that's not into sports, so proud in what they have been achieving. But here, what I've done is I die cut it out, folded it in half, and what I've chosen to do on the full layer, so front and back, I've gone in with our scattered dots stencil, and then what I've also done is I've used our lemon tonic, and what I've gone around with the water reactive, and I've added some of these little yellow dots. Then this time, what I've done is from our celebration 12 by 12 paper pad, I've taken our mint or teal duck egg blue pattern paper with the dots as well. And we're going to cut that one out into the pattern paper. And yet again, go through the junior, no problems whatsoever. If you are using the large Gemini, the original Gemini, that of course just means that you are going to be able to do both layers at once. And just to say as well, if you are new to us, when Jan was doing her demo, and if you heard any of these like cracking noises and you heard it again, what D Jan was using die-wise, there was a lot of straight edges, which is very similar to this die as well. So a lot of straight edges. So what that does is that cuts into your cutting plate, mostly happens if it's a brand new plate or relatively new plate, but that cracking noise is normal. That's just the edges of the dies going into the plastic plate. So if you do hear that, if you're relatively new or you're new to die cutting, please don't panic, it is normal. So I just wanted to mention that because I could hear it happening with mine as well. But we've got hello, and then what I'm also going to do with lemon tonic, I'm going to dab all the way around with some ink. I'm not being precise, I'm just laying that colour down, working our way around, just bringing in a little bit of that yellow in with the background that we've also created. Gorgeous. A lot of people talking about the Olympics and how they've been watching it. Uh, Aisha, I've been watching it. I love it. Uh, Lynn saying, I've seen some of the Olympics. So proud of how well Team GB are doing. Uh, Wendy saying, she's the youngest British medal winner, but a 12-year-old is the youngest medal winner at the Olympics ever. Wow. 12 years old. Gosh. Goodness me. Imagine that is incredible. And it family. is inspirational. We were saying, someone was saying on social media the other day, what they should do is before every kind of Olympic sport is they should just let someone that they've found on the street have a go at uh, first before the professionals do it just to show you how utterly unbelievable it is what they are. Because sometimes I think you watch it and you don't really understand the concept of no. just how incredible these individuals are. 
That's right. Yeah, you're right. We'd be so we could have like seat. Trevor from Basildon having a go first and see how long it takes him, then let the Olympians get in, and then you'd, just work, you'd see just how amazing it was. I'd like to do the trampoline. The what? The trampoline. Trampolining? Trampolining, yeah. Oh, I find trampolining a bit scary, Craig. Oh, I do as well. Like, I love it, and then I go a little bit too high, and I'm too like, high. whoa, no, that's it's enough. that free-falling aspect that I don't like. But I do like that little bit of bouncing on the trampoline. So I think, yeah, I could, I could maybe do the, the horse riding. Horse riding? Yeah. Right. I know I'm not using the actual uh, competition names, but... Yeah, I think if, like, sleeping was an Olympic sport, I'd be good at that. I'd definitely yeah. win gold. If, I'm trying to think what I'd be good at. Watching TV? I, I know, I can't even say that lately, because I've hardly had a chance to watch any TV. I've got about three weeks' worth of Coronation Street to catch up oh, with. Oh, Craig. And if it's something I follow, something like that, or Grey's Anatomy... Will you I have follow, to see it through and watch all of them? Well, it's not so much that, but... I, I have my TV on quite a lot when I'm crafting, but whatever I have on is something that I've already seen before, okay. like Friends or The Big Bang Theory or Gogglebox, so that I can tune in and out. But if I watch a brand new episode of Goggle, eh, Gogglebox, there's some Gogglebox on my head. If I watch a brand new episode of Grey's Anatomy, I you think I'm paying attention. attention. Right. Then the next week comes and I'm like, oh, how did that, what happened there? And it's because I wasn't paying attention. Oh, Craig. So I know, that's just... Me just being me. Me being me. But here we are. Let's start to assemble these bits together. So we've popped our hello that's going to be in with that backdrop here. Then what I've also done, a couple of my little floral dies, just our little leaves. I've taken these ones here. Then what I'm also going to do, I'm going to then go in with... Uh, let's go in... Is there one... Is there one that would work with hello? Birthday time, no, sending hello, sending friend, with hello, special hello. Special hello, send you a special hello. There we go, that'll do. Don't know if it'll actually work, but. Joe, I'm sending you a special hello. Ah, oh, thank you. We are gonna have to do uh, card of the show, aren't we, as well, before we the end of the show. We'll squeeze that in. We will um, do. Just finishing off this one now, so we can get that done in a second. So what I'm going to do is there is special. So I'm going to then bring this one in. Let's bring in our foam pad for this one. Pop a few in. So if I come into here, and I'm going to lay that up into place. So let's take the backings off. Imagine what this would be like if this was a substantial tag, Joe. Because oh, instead yeah. of having a card blank shape, that could just be one side, and then that could be your card blank if you wanted to. That would work well, I think. I think so. I think it would. It would work an absolute treat. And then last but not least, to finish off, let's go in with our glue gel, because I'm going to add these embellishments. Let's go in with our leave. So I'm going to pop... Oh, no, there it is. I thought I'd drop my little bit of glue gel, but it's not. It's there. Let's pop that one in. Let's pop this one in to the top bit. No, 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 not plain ball. I have the, the issues with glue gel that Jan has with foam pads. Right. Have you got a block, a bit of a blockage? Yeah. Seems to be coming out and then it stops. Yeah, that's a bit too much, but let's half that. So let's go in with... Do you not get a sticky pokey tool? Uh, you, you get a syringe with it. No, but is your pokey tool that you're using not going to be all sticky now? Uh, yeah, but what I've done is the reason I've got masking tape around it, this is the one that I use just for glue gel. Ah, I see. So after a while, yeah, it does start to get thick at the end, but then what I do, once it's dry, what I'll then do is take my scissors, and lightly, because I don't want to scrape my scissors, but then I just scrape that excess off. Ah, uh, okay. And then it peels off, or you can do it with your craft knife, either okay. or. So I do it that way. But yeah, you're right, it does, after a while, gunk up at one end. So there we go. So let's pop that one on. And then last but not least, we're going to go into with this one. If you've got maybe a little flower dye. I did have a flower dye, but it seems to have disappeared. That would cover up into that bit. But there we go. We've got special hello. 
and then bringing that one in so you can see really good card so that is the hello that is the sentiment of course but also does that card blank too we've used the dotty stencil within that one there so you can mix and match the stencils with the certain dies they do go with a specific one but you can of course mix and match them no problems at all but this is what's coming up in creative craven seven o'clock here in the uk 2 p.m eastern time 11 a.m pacific time with jan and also joe this is the shapeboard die collection 35 elements in total now today's price being 80 pound 95 or 90 dollars 75 and then with this one here it works out you're saving 20 percent but if you are platinum that comes down to 64.76 or 7260 and you know what very quickly i didn't show these did i when i showed you the boards let's just briefly go through these ones here just to give you a few other ideas because you can make a shaker it doesn't have to be the way that i showed you a minute ago but then you can do your inking instead of your pattern paper simplistic with your colors and your black and then again on this one here what about an easel card Awesome. Creating that one. So lots of different ways you can use them, Joe. We're going to have to do a very, very quick photo of the show then, uh, Craig, aren't we? Uh, do you still have Jan's um, demo for I, I, there? I don't. I think she's gone away with Has it. Has she nabbed it? Oh, no. So we'll have to do it from memory then, aren't we? But you are. have to just try and remember what Jan's demo uh, looked like. It was that one with the gorgeous pastels and the craft card. So one was Craig's, a brand new launch, of course, which is coming up. Uh, later today so one two or three craig will show us one and three you just have to you'll have to visualize uh jan's demo you will uh, indeed. we don't know where it's gone so number one was using what's coming up in launch day next with our uh, scene edgeable dies then so that was number one number two would have been jan's lovely card that we've seen so this is my sign for jan's card and then number three was the hello one that we use using the word stamp and die collection awesome get your votes in you've got 90 seconds i reckon uh, to get those votes in i want to tell you about something else that's coming up uh, in creative craving as well it is the cut in numbers now these are fantastic they're brilliant uh, for milestone birthdays and a whole host of other things they're really nice big statement numbers as well the great thing about this is that you're paying for the numbers 29.99 39.95 Platinum's down to £24 or $32 thereabouts. But then what you're also going to get is all the additional elements included as well with your ordinals, but you've also things got a happy celebrate, birthday, anniversary, and congratulations on there as well. Uh, these should be £10 or $15. So it's great that you've got those included uh, free of charge, equates to 25% saving, which is amazing. Uh, I wonder though, uh, don't, don't forget, we have got that uh, brand new launch coming up for you in about 90 minutes time uh, with myself and Jan. Uh, they are festive. You were saying earlier, they're like a bit of a hybrid, aren't they, Craig, between two of our most favorite styles when it comes to crafting? Absolutely. Yeah, and uh, Jan explained it really well in uh, the way she meant being the hybrid. But these are the creative card scene edgeables. So what we're going to do is let's show you the boards. We'll show you some finished samples and we'll go over the details for you. And this is what they're going to do. Yes, they're going to create that edgeable factor, but what they're also going to do is that create a card factor. So all together, it's going to be a nice, sizable, detailed, but delicate card when it comes to the ones that you choose to make. That one being Christmas, create a card scene edgeable. This one with the snowmen. Then on this one here, we've got Bethlehem. We've got the angel on this one here. Lovely angel. Then what we've also got is our uh, uh, Mary and Joseph and Jesus and the little donkey. We've also got the stag that's got their stag, a deer, you know, a couple of different ways that you can have that. And then we've also got the Christmas tree as well. So that's what you're going to get within the set. You can then make things like these ones here. So this is something that we made yesterday. So we've got that one with your inks, but then using your other dies in conjunction with them color over the top with your aqua pens but then use them in the top of boxes as well so all of that today's price being 67.99 or 79.95 if you are platinum that's going to come down to 54.39 or it will come down to 63.96 when it comes to you guys stateside so that is coming up in launch day with john and joe and also within that one, you do get the dies, but what you also get is that die tool and the brush as well. 
fabulous. How fabulous. A demo of the show is card number one, Craig. Number one, card number one, with the snowman. So yeah, a lot of you are loving that idea with it. It's been just having a little bit of patience and doing some paper piecing and colouring if you want. So thank you so much. Such an incredible fun wake up call as always. We're having Jan in within the middle, but uh, Jan's just out there. She's uh, lumbering up to get ready with the main man himself. Thank you coming back again, Joe. Ah, absolute uh, pleasure as always. I'll be with you for the next uh, five days, including today. So I'm with you for, uh, all Brilliant. through the weekend, which will be lovely. Uh, I'll be back with you tomorrow, Craig. You will do. And do you know what? We have got a cracking launch day as we well have. tomorrow. It's all about the wobblers. But do you know what? That's tomorrow. It's launch day coming up next with Jan and Joe. So that's going to be 3 o'clock here in the UK, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 7 a.m. Pacific Time. And then they're going to be back again later on in the day for Creative Craven, 7 o'clock here in the UK, 2 p.m. Eastern Time or 11 a.m. Pacific Time. I'm going to be back at the exact same time, same place tomorrow, where uh, myself and Joe will be bringing you Wake Up Call. We're going to be having a look at what is uh, on launch day tomorrow. Honestly, they are super fun. They are super cute. Not anything that I've tend to seen before. So that's going to be good. We're going to be showing them and demoing them ahead of the launch day with myself and Joe. And then we're also going to come back for Cartload tomorrow as well. So it's going to be a me and Joe day all day tomorrow. But don't go far because it's going to be Joe and Jan for the remainder of the day on Crafters TV. I will see you tomorrow for Wake Up Call. See you later on. Bye. Bye.